how often do married uh men and men that are in relationships hit you up? Because nowadays, and I'm 26, nowadays women my age, women in their 30s, women in their 40s, women in their 50s that are on social media, they say that their DMs are full of men that are supposed to be in relationships. Their DMs are full of married men. Obviously, I'm a man. I'm a heterosexual man. I don't deal with men in that manner. I don't have men hitting me up. So I want to know, <laughs> even even at, even at your age, and even when you were younger, like has I mean, just throughout your life, has there been a lot of men that were in relationships and a lot of married men that have hit you up? Absolutely. If you entertain, like there are there are um, there are people that are married that their wives and them have some sort of understanding. And sometimes it's unspoken. And especially in my age era, because I'm 50, I'll be 55, right? So mm -hmm. I come from an era where, you know, you just, you just, you know, turn a blind eye, you don't say anything, you don't, you know, let, I don't care as long as he bring it home the check. I don't care, he can do right. whatever, as long as me pay the bills, that kind of thing. Right. Um, I, I'd rather have my, I'm divorced, so I'd rather have my dignity, and I have, I'd have. i rather have my self-respect, and I'd rather have peace of mind than to be entangled with somebody, um, somebody who's married. I'm I'm not entertaining nobody. I, I had a, um, a, a guy that was pursuing me. I didn't know if he had a girlfriend. We were just, like, you know, it was nothing. We never held hands. We never kissed nothing. You know, we were, we, he has a business, I have, I have a business, so we connected in on that way. So he was like, yeah, and one day he said to me, you know, I really like you, but I have a girlfriend. And I said, okay. And I said, and he says, well, I know you're not going to entertain nothing like that. And he was really testing me because he, he was, he wanted me to say, I don't care about you having a girlfriend. And I said to him, you're absolutely right. I'm not entertaining anything. Do I look like I need to be sharing a man with anybody? Like, um, I'm I'm not sharing a man with anybody. And I'm not saying that I'm all this and all that. But my integrity won't allow me to stoop that low to knowingly put myself in a position to be somebody's side chick. I'm not right. doing that. I don't have to. I do not have to. I could go on dates every day if I want to. Right. But I'm 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 damn sure not going to um engage with somebody's man. I have too much respect for myself. I love women and I would never disrespect another woman like that. That's majorly disrespectful. But I and I told the brother, I said, I'm glad you told me that you have a girlfriend. And I really appreciate it, but I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't rock like that. That's not how I do things. That's not how I operate. At this age and stage of my life, I want to do the right thing. I want to do things in the right way. Because there's no telling how long I'm going to have left on this earth. You think I'm going to be somebody's side chick or somebody's special friend on the obituary? Hell no. Right. Right. All right, Miss Danielle. So my last question is um, because... You hear a lot of these women talk about all these terrible experiences they have, you know, pertaining to dating, all these trash men that they deal with. And I want you to, uh, you've been being all the way real. And I want you to keep it real when I ask you this question. Have you personally ever done a background check on a man before you like, you know, even went out on a date with him or pursued anything serious with him at all? Because I well, think, I think, I think if women started, I think if women started doing background checks, I think I think a lot of these I think a lot of these problems, uh, you know, a lot of these issues wouldn't even be a thing for a lot of these women. That's just how I personally feel, though. So, have you personally ever done? And listen to all all the women here. I know I know a lot of y'all. I know like ninety nine percent of y'all have never ever done a background check on a man before. So I know when y'all come up here, I know that y'all are going to say that y'all have, but. Now, I know for a fact that 99% of y'all have never, ever done not one background check on a man. And if y'all if y'all were doing background checks for real, there wouldn't be, y'all. all of y'all wouldn't be having the same problems and be complaining about the same thing. Let's keep well, it Noble, real. Well, Noble, let me ask you this, Noble. Like, because you're talking to someone who's 54. Like, mm -hmm. there was no background checks when I started dating. 
Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They were like, you you know, you asked around the hood, around the way about a certain person. You like this. Hey, you know, you know about <laughs> you, you you know about Ray Ray. You know about, you know, you wh- what's up with him? Who is his brother? Where he lives at? You you asked the neighborhood about this particular person. But uh-huh. even in 2023, why should we have to be um doing background checks? Why you can't act like a person of integrity? Why you can't become and be the man and woman that you supposed to be and you say you are and you portray yourself to be? Why do I have to do a background check on a man? <laughs> Unless I think he's a pedophile, you know, around my grandchildren, then that's going to then that may be a, a reason why I'm doing a background check to see if he's been in prison and what he's been in prison for. But I don't think that we should be, I think people should act uh, and, and move with integrity. We shouldn't have to be doing background checks. For what? Right. People, like, theoretically, in a perfect world, everyone would have, you know, dignity. Everyone would be out here moving with integrity. Everyone would be honest. Everyone would be being themselves and, you know, being the best person they can be for themselves and to others. But we live in a real world. We live on Earth. And that is just that is just not what's going on. That is not. But, what but let me tell you. But let me let me stop you, Noble. A background check is like a resume. You could put any fucking thing you want on that bitch. You could put. You could create a background check to make yourself look very pristine. Okay, you can do that. That doesn't mean that you are a, a, a person of integrity. A, to me, that's what it seems like. A background check is like. Unless you're doing a criminal background check, okay. Well, because what what kind of background check are we are we referring to? Do this person have what bad credit? Every, but or every, what but every, everything, no, because because if you do like a real legit background check, you can see uh, marriage records, you can see divorce records, you can see uh, property, you know that people have lived at and who owns the property. So you can you can get a lot of information about a man or a woman by doing a background check on them. That's why that's why jobs do background checks on people in addition to references and verifying that you went to whatever school or that you worked at whatever company. That's why they do background checks cuz we need to know who we're hiring. And it's not a guarantee. It's, that don't mean that if somebody got a squeaky squeaky clean clean record that they're right. not a trash person, they're not a trash man or a trash right. woman. But a lot right. of people would avoid a lot of these trash men and trash women if they probably did do like a background check on people. That's what uh, I think. In a back, yeah, but a background check can tell you if somebody was is married. That that is that that's important. That part is important because you know a background check doesn't really tell you what the person is like. They only tell right. you what they've done and um and maybe the you know um the assets they might they may have right that doesn't tell you that they that's in per- this person is of integrity right. <laughs> you know that doesn't tell you it, it doesn't tell you that part but yeah it's a, but i mean like damn we we really got to do a background check like that like shit damn i guess you know what i i, I guess you right know because I, i'm i'm a, i'm listen i got i could do my own fucking background check my intuition ain't gonna lie to me at all all I see you move funny style. Two two minutes you move funny style. I'm out. I, Ms. I move right along. Miss Daniel, 